Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to run a Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.10.x server on Android. So this can be really convenient for somebody who is trying to just host a server but they don't have a computer or they can't host it on their computer because other people use it and might disrupt it, that kind of stuff. So this can be really convenient for somebody but of course that'll come with some drawbacks. So mobile devices just aren't as powerful as computers, that's the main drawback. Meaning that you won't be able to host as many people on your server, they might encounter lag, that kind of stuff. But it is possible, you can get it done, and I'm going to be showing you some options to make it run as best as it can on your device. So we're going to be using the PocketMine MP app, I'll have a link for it in the description. Go ahead and get that from the Play Store, and let's go ahead and open it up. So, let's go Version Manager. So when you open it up for the first time, you'll be taken to this screen right here. When I tried the beta version yesterday on the PC, I did a video, uh, the beta version didn't work. It crashed, so I'm not going to go with it. The development version worked, but you never really want to host a server using the development version. That's basically for developers who want to try out their plugins and stuff like that. Not going to go with the development version because it's just not stable, it's buggy and whatever. I'm going to go with the stable version that supports Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.10.5, so I'm going to hit download. All right, so you should be taken to a screen. Yeah, when you get it for the when you open it for the first time and then select you know, the stable version or whatever you select, uh, you should be taken to this screen right away. So we're gonna leave the server port as one nine one three two. I'll get to that later. Server name. I'm gonna change it to Dogger twenty thousand elevens server. You don't really need to change the server description of the server name, but I just did. So whatever. Let's go. Let's see game mode. What's gonna? I'm gonna leave that at survival. Allow use of fly and survival mods, I'll go with that. Um, easy. Maximum players at once, I'm going to go with 15. So this kind of depends on the device that you're using and whether or not you use it a lot. So if you're just, like if it's a tablet that you're going to leave at home and only host a server on, you can add a few more players. So like I'm using a Nexus 7 2013 if you know it's overclocked and stuff so it runs a little bit faster so I'm gonna set it with 15 so if I let it sit in my house and host a server all day and that's really all it ever did 15 is pushing it but I, I could get away with it if I was using like my note 4 or something I could go with 20 again that's still kind of pushing it but it could be done if you're using like a lower-end device you know you know like a off-brand device or something older you know you want to go with maybe 5 to 10 I'm going to stay at 15 though. Uh, it just depends, but I'm going to be showing you how to make it run a little bit better. So view distance is going to eat up your CPU. If you leave it at 10, it's going to cause a little bit more lag and it's going to be harder for your device to run. So I'm going to set that to 5. That's half of 10, obviously. <laughs> so uh, that's not going to use as much resources, so it'll run a little bit better. Maybe get a couple more people on there without it causing issues. And then we're also going to change the amount of RAM. So the highest option it gets you is 20, 256 megabytes, but this device actually has two gigabytes. So I'm going to make it so it can use about 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. Um, it's probably all we need to change. So I'm gonna hit save. And now we're taken here. So we can just go ahead and hit start server. You can see the amount of players there if somebody were to join. You can see the RAM usage, that kind of stuff. But if you want to see the console where you can actually run commands, hit the little like monitor or whatever, the screen, uh, that's right next to the settings button up top. Click that, and that's our console now. This is where we can run commands, like I showed off in my other server videos. So uh, whitelist, if you wanted to use a whitelist, we can type whitelist on, whitelist add and then type in somebody's username so I'm gonna type in my own username and that means that I'm the only person that can join this server now you have to add in their username if you want them to join if you have the whitelist on if you want it if you want it so anybody can join you don't have to add their their username in to do whitelist off which it is off by default um, if you want to OP somebody just type in OP dogger 2011 or whatever the username is um, you want to change somebody's game mode just type in game mode creative and then whoever and I'm not on the server so it's gonna say can't find player the person has to be on the server for it to work and then just like in my other server server videos that I showed you have to type in stop before you close out of the server because you don't want to corrupt the world or anything like that so going back to the 
uh, the uh, port that I showed earlier that I said to leave at 19132. For people to actually be able to join your server, you have to do something called port forwarding. So this is allowing people to connect to the server from outside of your Wi-Fi through the port that Minecraft Pocket Edition uses, which is 19132. So that means you need to look up how to port forward your router. If you already know how to port forward and go ahead and you know you know what this is, you know what to do. But if you've never port forwarded before and uh, you know you've you have no idea what I, I I'm even talking about. Try and figure out what your net. I always start to say Netgear. That's the brand I use. Um, try to find out what your router model is, and then look up on in the internet. You know how to. Whoops. How to port forward. Man, I can't type. How to. No, I can't type. Okay, how to port forward and then like your net gear. Ugh, I did it again. How to port forward your router model. You just put that there. So if I wanted to look up how to do it on my own router, I would type in, whoops. I would type in how to port forward net gear, Nighthawk, like that. And then all these different options come up like from netgear.com, YouTube has got a couple videos. Um, so yeah, that's how you'd figure out how to port forward, and then once you figure it out, open the port 19132. If you want to do plugins, go to settings, plugins, and this is where all the pocket mine plugins are, which aren't really all that many plugins, but whatever. Uh, and they make it fairly simple, though, which I like. Um, uh, let me look at the different ones here. I'm just going to go with this top one. Select that. Download. There. Now it's in our server, so we can go ahead and hit start server. There we go. Um, well, it tried to load the plugin, but... Well, actually it loaded some of them. Some of the plugins worked, because that's a bigger one, so... Some of the parts of that plugin worked, some of them didn't, but... It did load the plugin, so that's how you get plugins on this mobile one which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's how you run a server. If you have any questions, especially about port forwarding, leave your comments down below. I hope to see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.